too soon. Um, yeah, just getting comfortable where the coaches are telling me to get ready at um, and just being able to uh, get into that second year groove. I mean, the first year was a lot of rookie stuff and all that stuff, just banging off the rust, getting used to the NFL, stuff like that. So focus is just getting comfortable where the coaches need me to be and, uh, yeah, just solidifying that role on this team. So. I remember last year at some point you, you said you, you still kind of want the goal um, uh, at this point. Yeah, uh, ultimate. just like I said last year, love being a tackle. That's where I played in college. Um, but uh, I'm a team player. Uh, we're part of the tight organization whatever's best for the titans to win games is where i'm going to be at so uh yeah we're going to compete everywhere but uh yeah i mean personally yeah i always gonna be a tackle but play wherever i need to be going through what you did um you know last season a lot of inactives uh, yeah. probably didn't play as much as you wanted <laughs> i'm sure you maybe saw some of the stuff on twitter what people were saying yeah. what is what is ready yeah. what's the deal with him how did you kind of take in all that and was that kind of frustrating um just not being able to contribute maybe the way you would hope coming in yeah I mean it's obviously frustrating we're we're here to play we're here to compete that's why we're at this level I mean we're all competitors so uh yeah you you always take it as a little bit frustrating but then you learn how to just turn that into drive and turn that into reasons why you need to work harder reasons why you need to do this and that and uh yeah just put yourself in the best position to uh, uh avoid that and uh uh, ultimately, at the, end, at the end of the day, you're just trying to be better yourself, and uh, you can't read into those too much. Um, yeah, the comfort is huge. Um, just being uh, already here for a year, being comfortable around the building, comfortable with coaches, knowing everybody, knowing players, uh, comfortable around the city of Nashville, just not having that uncomfortability is huge. Uh, not having to stay here till 5 o'clock, like rookie meetings and all that stuff. I mean, that's necessary, but uh, yeah, just being able to uh, study and figure things out, kind of, and not being rushed uh, from point A to point B all the time and just like you said being comfortable has been a, a huge plus to, uh, this year going into year two. When you look back at last year what'd you like what what when you what are some things you felt like I gotta get better here? Uh yeah what I liked uh just getting used to it and being able to play in a game I mean I think uh we take for granted yeah like he said on Twitter and stuff like yeah I was inactive in a lot of games but ultimately at the end of the day I mean there's not many people get to play in the NFL and you just have to be appreciative for the opportunities that I got. Um, so that's uh, the plus side to that. And then, uh, like I was talking about before, just being able to uh, turn all the inactives and not playing into drive and factor and just uh, take it uh, with what you can get from it and uh, just turn it into a driving factor and not have to worry about the negatives too much, but turn the negatives into positives. So. And, and what's the mission? I mean, I, and I'm sorry to repeat some of this, but obviously some starting spots up for grabs. And yeah, how yeah. do you approach that? And, and uh, yeah. what kind of mindset yeah. do you have to have in May all yes. the way until September? Yeah, the mission is uh, for the Titans to win games uh, and for the starting five to earn those spots. So uh, whoever earns those spots during fall camp, uh, it's our job to push those people. It's our, our job to push each other uh, for those starting five to earn those spots. Um, and ultimately, that's what we're going we're gonna to do. So that's the mission, win games and make sure those starting five earn it. Is there anything? What do you think you have to do to be one of those? Uh, just go out here every day, get 110%, like uh, like everybody says. I mean, follow what the coaches do, uh, push each other, um, just help each other out. Uh, yeah, I mean, just putting in the work and just being able to uh, focus in and maybe work harder on the next guy, I guess, if you want to turn it into a competition. Being a year in, what did you maybe change, if anything, this off season? And is there anything in particular you maybe look to hone in on um, heading into year two? Um, yeah, you, I mean, you just learn things about the league. Obviously, when you come from college to the league, you learn that you don't have class. So it's like, I mean, there's so many different things you can hone in on, whether it's taking care of your body more because you have more time, you have more diet, massages, all that stuff. And then obviously now you don't have to study class. So now you can study the playbook more, stuff like that. So just honing in on uh, being a professional football player more, just uh, doing all those things more often and then learning how to be efficient when you're doing those things, not just looking at a playbook and uh, not really knowing how to study it, but uh, actually learning from vets, learning from coaches how to study the playbook and stuff like that so how big a jump is this for you going into year two do you think uh as far as uh just i think it's a huge jumps comfortability wise um just being in the first year i mean obviously everything's new city's new you're away from home uh the nfl's new i mean i was from the fcs level so there wasn't as many big guys just being able to uh adapt to that physicality and just uh so comfortability wise just way more comfortable going into year two than once year one so. you specifically though with your role you had a lot of time to learn and you had your a few opportunities but this year you know, there were more expectations on you from the coaches and sure on yourself oh yeah for you personally talk about the jump into year two um, yeah, I mean, obviously the expectations here are uh, we're going to put the team first. Uh, the Titans are going to want to win games. Uh, that's what we come from. Brable's come from the Patriots. He loves winning games, I'm sure. Um, and that's ultimately our, uh, the, the end goal here. Um, so like I was just telling them, uh, the 
the, the goal this year is to put the starting five out there that earn it uh, and the starting five out there that will help us win games. So. Still, you the combine, Mike said when he was asked if you're ready to start, he said, no, but it's our job to make sure that he is ready. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of thrown down the gauntlet. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, ultimately, when he said that, it's true. Like uh, when you're in the off season, I don't think any of us are really ready to start and play in a game at that moment. I mean, it's the off season. It's the reason it's called the off season. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, as a competitor, yeah, it's my goal to start and all that stuff. Um, but uh, the team's first, and we're going to make sure everybody on that starting line earns it. Still so. moving around a lot. I, and moving around on the offensive line versatility. Yes, yes, and that's part of just the competition we have here. It's part of what they, uh, just the atmosphere they want here. Uh, the competition makes sure nobody's like, okay, this guy's a rookie, so he's behind me. He's not gonna push me or something like that. So we're gonna move guys around in order to push each other and earn it. And then wherever guys line up, whatever guy earns that spot, uh, whether it's the spot he thought he's gonna take or the spot he's not gonna take, then uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. So that competition and just earning it here is a huge part of our atmosphere. In, in your mind, what do you? What else do you need to? improve on to, to earn that spot? Uh, I mean, there's so many things we could sit here and go down to the list on how many things we all need to improve on and stuff like that. But ultimately, it's just coming out here every day and taking the coaching points and then just doing extra on those things. I mean, just just being a leader going into year two and not just uh, being a rookie trying to figure things out, but instead uh, figuring those things out and then uh, excelling on them and detailing that work. So how do you view that? Question? How do you view that role? Uh, kind of like you said, be it year two mm -hmm. uh, and still with a lot to learn, but then also taking that next step of being a leader where does that kind of like mix fall in for you here yeah and i think that goes along with the competition and earning it like uh obviously we draft the guy we have uh uh, younger guys on the team now so it's like we have to push each other along we can't just be like oh he's a rookie he's trying to take my spot I mean yeah that's part of the business but I mean we gotta uh, we gotta make sure uh, uh, he's gotta make sure I earn it I gotta make sure he earns it the other guys gotta make sure it's uh, vice versa it goes like that so uh, uh, yeah just taking that leadership role and then also just being able to compete uh, is gonna be huge just trying to earn everything